got me? Oh my I'm serious! God. Witches 13. Witchcraft for all intents. Do you guys hear those cocks? There's cocks all over the place. There's about to be. <laughs> I just want to touch one. What's up guys, it's Sam and Colby. Today we are here with Nita Tad at Victoria's Black Swan Inn. Now this haunted location has a ton of history starting way back thousands of years ago yes. at a indigenous burial ground right underneath us. Oh Been gosh. through war, really mysterious suicides. Let's get inside. Dude, you can already smell it. I can oh. smell haunted. Wait, whoa. Oh my God, this place is beautiful. Dead rose petals or something? That's crazy. Oh my God, and the spider webs. Bro. That just looks scary. Dude. That's like heartbreak. Just wait until we tell you the stories from this place. What the? Do you think that's real, dude? dude. Give him a kiss. Get him a kiss, Nate. Give him a kiss, Nate. <laughs> oh my god! Guys, do you feel how stale the air is? I was just about to mention that. There is absolutely no breeze in here. So that means if anything moves or creaks, it's definitely not the AC. This is like a full on mansion. Another rose. In a crystal ball? No, I scratched my neck because I didn't touch anything, but my neck feels oh, like. Oh, wait, actually, you definitely have some red marks on your neck. I did not touch it. I made a mental note not to until you guys finished talking, but it feels like something grabbed my throat walking through Did here. you not have a sh bad shaving sesh this morning? Oh my god, that's Wait! Scary. Wait, is this the- Oh my god, okay, we'll get to this in a second, but is this the closet? This, this is the closet! Dude, this really? is the psychomantium. Yes! Because you sit right here, there's a mirror on the top, and there's a mirror right there. Dude, this is terrifying. I didn't realize it was gonna be on the first floor. This is like one of the more haunted spots ever, and they think that this closet right here is a portal. What? That is so scary. We have to do this tonight. That's literally like a three foot tall dog. I'm pretty sure she runs around here at night. Tee hee all over the place. Do you think she's dating Chucky? Oh, dude. Chucky's got some side hoes. So there is tons of history about this place. So in order to get a better understanding, we are going to be talking to two experts who tour this place often. Hi, I'm Steven Garza Guzman. I'm Fred Garza Guzman. And we're the Curious Twins Paranormal. We're at the Walsham Creek. The Walsham Creek will also intersect with the Salado Creek. The Salado Creek is, of course, what we know as the Battle of Salado, and those were two of the battles that happened here. This ground right here was the epicenter of a war. It started as a spiritual place, like a place of reconciliation between the living and the dead. When war breaks out, suddenly it's like torn. The battle that was fought literally beneath our feet right now changed the course of American history. When the Mexican army came in, they had 1,600 troops that were able to take over San Antonio. However, 220 Texans were able to outsmart their entire army and defeat them. Basically, they funneled them into like this geographically tight area, ambushed him, and ended up killing tons of them, whereas only one Texan was killed. And the only reason that Texan was killed was because he was an animal lover and was trying to go retrieve his horse, so he could have survived as well. And that Texan soldier is named Stephen Jett. He actually died right in these woods, right oh, along. Right here. After the battle was over with, he had tied up his horse to a tree right alongside the creek, came to retrieve it, supposedly, and Native Americans killed him. He's actually known to roam around this property as well, so we might see him. When the battles happened, there was obviously lots of death here and there have been reports of people sorry Jesus you were like oh, you look <laughs> like a meerkat well it smells like gunpowder right now dude they there have been reports He's literally just about to say that I was just about to really say, yep there have been you guys not smell that right now wait yeah so the house itself sits on a, an ancient burial mound. It's probably at least five to eight thousand years old, maybe oh, older. Oh maybe my god, Dude, that's so much older than I. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, except than I am. It's, it's a very, very old <laughs> way under that burial mound. You also have Edward's Aquifer, beautiful, you know, drinking water that we still utilize to this day. And what protects that water is we have limestone. Limestone's also thought to exacerbate oh, paranormal right. activity. Yeah. Uh, you know, Underneath yeah. a mound of bodies that are buried under here, there's a body of life. Not only that, but a limestone deposit. So it's almost like you have the battery in between the two yeah. as well. Wow. Lots yeah. of things to charge this place. 
here at the bottom of the hill, this is really where we have the most experiences with the shadow figures. What? Right here? We have our mound right here. This is our burial ground. This is where it began. Right yeah. where we did the base. intro. So if you could guesstimate how many bodies are underneath us right now, what would you say? Probably at least, you know, three to five hundred. Oh my you god. Know? That's crazy to think that that's right beneath us and behind us. 115 like documented deaths, but then like hundreds that are undocumented. So now let's talk about some of the most prominent ghosts and some of the unsolved mysteries of this location. A couple by the name of Jolene Woods and Park Street. It's got a weird name. The two moved in to this house in 1952. Just a short seven years go by though and then tragedy strikes. Jolene actually fell down the grand staircase over here and then supposedly passed away of breast cancer. Though the obituary is concerningly ambiguous. We don't know her cause of death. In fact, we don't even know that much about her life. One of the things that happened leading up to her death is that she fell down these staircases. There was actually a gentleman kind of well known in town, Porter Loring Jr. Porter Loring Jr. was a friend of the family and he prescribed to her some painkillers and things to ease her after that fall. Wow. Some people think that potentially the painkillers could have been what killed her. What do you believe was the cause of death? So I've done a lot of spiritual communication with Jolene. She's very kind, very warm, treats you well. The thing about Jolene is that if you ask her very specific questions about her death, it's like she will start talking about other things, everything will change, things will shift. She doesn't talk about that. I think that maybe she was having an affair. And I think that perhaps maybe even Porter Loring was potentially involved in that. Somebody asked her, Jolene, why are you stuck here? The response back was, I'm not stuck here. This is my house. Jolene is also often seen around this property. She's known to be a dark haired, taller woman in a white gown where she starts at the top of the stairs, walks all the way down here to the gazebo out in the back. The gazebo on the outside of the house is known as one of the more haunted locations in the entire property. If you're lucky enough to see her and catch up with her, she'll just vanish as soon as she gets to the gazebo. Poof. As mysterious as Jolene's death was, it was coupled with an even more mysterious death of Park Street. They at first ruled it as a suicide. And that is what was on the cause of death. However, there are so many rumors that lead us to believe that it wasn't just a suicide. Do you believe Park committed suicide or was it a murder? People were saying that maybe she was cheating on Hall Park Street Jr. People were saying that potentially she was at one point pregnant with another man's baby. Oh, there was perhaps some marital trauma going on. I think that it, it leads more to murder. Wow. wow! Drama in the ghost oh. world! <laughs> Many people believe that Park was murdered in the south wing of the house, which was at the time also his office. And people say that that is the only dangerous and or evil part of this property. This would be the most consistently active with our EMFs. Local papers covered it as if it was a suicide, but there was a lot of really, really strange and peculiar things surrounding his death. The second wife, she made a statement to the police. She did not know he was missing until he did not come downstairs for breakfast. And that very specific language downstairs for breakfast was peculiar because they only had a one-story home. They believed that the body had been tampered with and potentially moved uh, from one location to another location. Whoa. Potentially some foul play involved. He would have had to balance himself onto that much. You know, like, yeah, yeah. I, I just, how do you tie something when it's Yeah, it back? seems very, very complicated. Hmm. And uh, like, we've done tours where we've had other mediums on the tours and they don't know anything about the property. And they will come to us like right before we start and they're like, who was hung on the property? Wait, this is the, okay, we this saw this before. This is a psychomantium. These special little rooms were created to basically get that chance to say goodbye. What would happen is that you just have one mirror in the back, one mirror in the front. They would face each other. Usually you'd have a chair in there, have room to light a candle. You'd stare into the mirror in front of you. The mirror in back of you would be reflecting into it and it would open up supposedly a portal. What's more perfect for creating a portal or at least facilitating the opening of a portal than situating between two mirrors where the light ricochets on and on into infinity? Between those mirrored infinities is where all of this spiritual darkness, lightness, communication, whatever you want to call it, is facilitated. It could open up your senses, make you be more empathic mm. to whatever is on the other side. Ideas that you stare in, you hope that the spirit girl shows you something, huh. speaks to you, shares with you something. This portal was created through intention. Perhaps this is related to Park Street's death, this closet itself. If you look at this door, you'll notice that it used to be a lock. People were getting locked in. We believe that those are tied in with Sophie, child spirit, very playful. 
people. Oh, um, wait, you're saying they were locked in by spirits, not yeah. by people. Oh, <laughs> oh. By spirits. Where would you guys say is the most haunted spot and or spots that you got like the most activity? I got the most EMF activity and really decent EVPs in this room. Abigail, also this doll over here, tends to sometimes give off decent EVPs. Wait, so that is like a haunted doll? Yeah. And the most haunted on the property? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. So this is a milking barn. We had everything from hearing cowbells go off, still breathing on our necks, to actually seeing shadow figures in here. These shadow figures are, you know, often what people feel as very negative. There was a German immigrant and dairy farmer named Sebastian Ripstein. He built the house, built the dairy barn, set up shop. After the original residence left, it was taken over by a couple named Heinrich and Mary Mahler. So Heinrich himself haunts the dairy farm, but also their daughter Susie is known to be very active there as well. But what's weird is she kind of looks like Sally. Why are it always Susie and Sally? Just once I want a ghost named like Doris. Investigators concluded that there was three very aggressive spirits that resided there. Specifically aggressive towards women or protective, whatever you want to think, but they especially disliked men. Lots of shadow figures, specifically on thermal cameras. So when we do our investigation there, definitely need to take one of those. Heimrich, we believe, he was really active. Right above 100 degrees, like maybe 101, 102. I was doing an interview, we come in here and it's like a walk-in fridge. It was totally... Wow! There was a shelf next to me and firmly planted on the shelf is like a box. It flies off the shelf. Oh my what? god! It lands directly in front of me. In this room. In this room. Did you guys just hear that? Yes. We're packing up to go do like our first investigation and it sounded like thunder. Like um, a loud, like, massive explosion. Probably the biggest explosion I've ever heard though. Like right there. I just literally just saw lightning wait, out the door. Wait, really? Wait, so it is for me? Okay, then we gotta start the first investigation before it starts to rain. Yeah, because you, you just saw it, right? A storm is rolling in on our haunted mansion night. This is not good. What the fuck was that? I don't know. Well, we're gonna go climb a silo when it's lightning outside. Climb in a silo in a lightning storm. Be on the lookout for poison ivy, guys. What are you, a fucking boy scout? No, not a boy scout. This <laughs> is a guy with a poison ivy knowledge. You hate having itchy balls, okay? This is why we got arrested the first time. <laughs> Come on, guys! I don't know if we should be doing this. I mean, this is starting to feel like it's in the realm of a crime. True. Oh damn, son, that ain't gonna be too hard to get in. That's my hero. Wait, wait, it's it's raining. Oh, big spider! Oh fuck, go back to Australia. Oh, bro, now that's rain. Oh wait, it's raining. It's raining oh. bad. It's raining bad. We gotta go, Nate. Dude, it's raining like a shit. We still gotta hit the gazebo before it ends raining. You're gonna get sick. Guys, I'm halfway up. Oh fuck, it's raining hard. We gotta go, bro. We gotta go. Get Nate. the fuck down here, Nate. Dude, we gotta go. Oh, there's a big spider. Oh my god, it's raining. Go, go, go. Wait, wait, wait. We can't wait. Nate, we can't Come on, Nate! Come on, son! Nate, we need you to stop! I'm trying! Wait, here. Look, this is going oh, back. Oh, shit! Oh, Yo, you good? You good? Let's go. Come on, buddy. Master, yeah. brother. Go, motherfucker, go! go. Oh, shit! I got oh, okay. to close the gate! Oh, come on, come on! Here we go! Come on, boys! Oh, my God! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Let's get inside, let's get inside. Is there any on the stairs? No. No. Right there is like the last one. This place gets flooded really quickly. So if this keeps up, we'll have to be super careful. This place is not only storming, but it's gonna flood. Which means we could get trapped here. Holy we might shit. actually unintentionally have to stay in overnight. Is this place trying to keep us? Yo! Oh my god, legitimately. Thank you to Monster Legends for sponsoring this video. If you don't already have it, it's a free-to-play mobile game available on every device. Monster Legends is all about collecting, training, and conquering with your team of monsters. And guess what, guys? We have our own monsters! Yeah! Oh! Ow!
Ow, I stubbed my toe. Yes, out of over 900 monsters that you can collect, we're one of them. Build your own empire. I mean, look at our guy. He looks terrifying. We're like conjoined twins. We're conjoined demons. You can even breed your monsters together and then evolve your baby monster to be the best in the game. And once you've created the best team, and you got the Sam and Colby monster, you can challenge your friends to battles, conquer trophies, win awards, and eventually take over the world. Maybe. <laughs> Speaking of rewards, if you use our link in the description or click the QR code on his face, you're going to get a free special starter pack. You're going to get everything you see on the screen, plus 10 Sam and Colby monster cells, which is going to help you create our monster. What are you waiting for? We want to see you guys repping our monster. Click the link and let's get back to the video. Is there just me or is there something kind of like exceptionally disturbing about this room? There's three angry spirits that hate dudes, so not good for us. So to start our investigation, we have the ovalist scans frequencies and spits out words from... Word, word. Secondly, we have the thermal because it's known that you can see the shadow figures on thermal in this bar. Is that an acronym? What do you think EMF stands for aside from electromagnetic field? I think it's like excited mom farts. I don't know if this was happening the other night, but this almost is saying words, but it's not speaking, like it broke. Could it be like a battery issue? It's got most batteries still. It's got three fourths of a battery. Dude, I'm telling you this room's free. Jails! Jails? Sally! What? Sally said Sally! Look no! Hey, I'm not making it up. The only two words that it's said so far. Holy Kills shit. And Sally. Rose. Rose is hanging from the chandelier, the rose in the glass ball. Oh yeah, dead Chills. roses. Up Sally. Down. What is this thing trying to tell us? Come on, give us a sign. If you don't want men to be in here, why don't you let us know? If you want us to leave, move something, make a noise, or speak to us on one of these devices. Deep. Maybe Such. Maybe we're in deep. Bridge. So remember Heinrich, he had a very successful business here, so maybe he's still here. Heinrich, are you the one that's still here haunting the barn, telling men to get out? I feel pretty comfortable here. You want to tell me to get out? <gasps> oh, I thought that I saw that spike on the camera, but I think I'm just tripping. Hello, I heard that there's three angry spirits that hate men. Is that true? Position. Do you not like us here? Yo. Wait, did that just go off? Can you say get out? Me? I think it would be really cool if we cocked that mirror forward. This is going to be a dope shot. You guys got it. We decided since so much of the property seems to be influenced by mirrors and reflections, and there's three of us, there's this triple-ended mirror right here. We decided we would see if it could act as sort of a trigger setup for engagement. Can you tell us your name? That was something. Did you hear Heinrich? Here though. An appearance. 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 Are there three men here with me? I definitely heard Heinrich. Why do you like women here? How long were you here? Did that say Sam? That sounds like it did. Did you just say Sam? I live here. Do you remember someone was like living upstairs and like a little girl would call his name out? Oh, Don't you yes. remember that from the interview? Yes. It just said your name. How do you know my name? Have you seen Sam or Colby or I before? How long have you been here? Here! here. Yes, did you live here? 81. <gasps> oh, that was just yo, going... Yo, yo. Oh, your phone. Please stay. That just said, please stay. Oh, I heard that. It was a little girl's voice, too. Yeah. Radio. Child! That just said child! Can we help you in any way? No. That sounded like so, my name. Is someone trapping you here? We can't leave. That was a little girl too. Is there someone? Is there some? What? What's, what's, what? What's going on? Do you guys not see the weird shifting lights outside? Is that the lightning? No, no, no. It's like, look from that window to that window. Eyes on that one, then eyes on that one. And tell me you don't see the light shifting in a weird way. It's just the... the oh, said please stay and then it said we can't leave all in female little girl voices oh my what is that squeak that's it's like it's gotta just be like a cricket or something it's gotta be like a... 
Would you like us to try to help you? Try. Please try. God. So, you want us to pray? Yes. yes. I just thought of something kind of dark. Holy fuck. What? <gasps> the three men's spirits here are trapping the girls, and they're not letting them leave. Please stay. We need help. You, mean to, tell me, you so mean to tell me darker. that we may be, like, busting some sort of paranormal sex ring right now? I don't know if we can cross anything over, but, I mean, I just feel bad. Like, if that's true, I mean, that's just kind of what we got from the spirit box. That's really dark. Is there something darker or more evil trapping you here? Demons? Demons there is. I mean, maybe like demons in their eyes aren't actual demons. It's just like bad people, you know? Could be. That has to be the rain. Damn, well, should we try to pray at least? Maybe we look into the mirror and we like say something real quick. Now, we're not exactly sure how to help you, but in the Lord's name, we pray for your safety. Whoever's trapping these women in here, you need to let them go. God, I pray that you help these girls find the other side, guide them to the light, and get these horrible people or spirits or demons, whatever they are, away from them. And if there's anything else we can do to help, please just give us a sign. Let us know how we can help. Amen. Dude, if that wasn't just kind of like a, us guesstimating what it said and there's actually girls in here, that's really sad. It's really sad. The worst part is it makes a lot of sense. Investigation 2 at the gazebo. This is the place where Jolene is supposedly seen. As a reminder, people see an apparition of a taller, dark-haired woman in a white gown around here, and then she just vanishes. What the fuck is that? What? That like light? That glowing light over there? Huh? Do you see that? No. In the right house? there, in the house, like where my fingers are. Wait, 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 wait. Did we leave a light on in the house? No, I just saw it turn on out of the corner, little corner of my it eye. Turned on? I was literally just wait looking. Wait a second. Wait a second. Is that the office? That's the library. The <clears throat> office. The office. That's the South Wing oh, office. Are, park. You are you sure? Yes, because it's on the south side. See, look, even when my light's off, it's not a reflection, guys. There's something in the office right now. I think I'm seeing something in the window. No, are you I'm someone for sure seeing something? There is some, there's like a figure in the window. I'm not kidding. Actually, 100%. 100%. Yo, there's somebody in the window. Do you see that, Nate? Oh my I'm serious. Oh. We should go over there. No, did you see that? There's a, there's a fucking I, person. It's 100%. Grab the flashlight. Let's go. What the fuck is that? I on it at all time. I can barely see it, but it's still lit up. <laughs> It was right in this room. Oh, fuck. That's so scary. Hello? This, this light. Hello? It was in the bathroom. Nate, I know you saw it too. It looked like a taller figure. It had to be like this tall. Yeah, it was swaying like this, though. Yo, it, that this. was the weird thing, because I thought there was a chandelier. I can swear on my mom's life, I turned this off at the beginning of the investigation. Because you took a shit before, right? Yeah, <laughs> Uh, yeah, I walked in here right right after it rained, and then we went to the barn, and back there, we never entered the house again. You can tell on the camera when I'm looking at you guys, I went down, that was because a flashing light just turned on. It turned on while we were in the gazebo. Guys, what the fuck is- Oh, that's my light down there. There was something in the window. Dude, was... there, there was something swaying tall. Not a chandelier, it was above like the lower trees. If you go to the bathroom, you turn it on, go to the bathroom. There's somebody in here. Fuck, guys, I'm actually scared. What the fuck was that? Dude, I heard it. Like a hiss. Something was in there. In our research, we're, there's literally supposed to be a figure, a man, that stands and you can hear him laughing. He, he, he. You know who that is? Who? Apparently, Stephen Jett, the only Texan military man. <laughs> That died. You know what it looked like? Have you guys seen that Curse the Cowardly Dog episode with the guys like Return to Slab? I think we just saw a fucking shadow figure. I don't know if they'll be able to see it because it was There's this so is a far. wide lens and it was very, very far away. But you can definitely see when the light turned on. We gotta check for footage if we can see the section of the house. Shit. We might have not filmed it, but like you can just see from our reactions. We saw a shadow figure. <laughs> from that corner of the room. Cool, do you think that's loud enough to be on the camera? Yes, 100%. Right on the window, Literally. or right next to the goddamn haunted doll. Hey! Oh, God sake, what the fuck? Leaving the bathroom, light off, going back to the gazebo right now. And we back. So we got two flashlights set up here. I got the thermal gun just in case we can see her walking down this path. You know what uh, Fred said evokes Jolene's kindness. We love your home. It's one of the most beautiful properties we've ever seen. And your piano. Oh. Oh my god! That worked perfect!
perfectly. Yo, thank you so much, Jolene. All right, Jolene, we just want to 100% make sure- Dude, as soon as you address her. Yeah, maybe she is here. Park, if you're here with us too, would you please make that red light? Come on. This can be Park's light. This can be Jolene's light. And Jolene, if he's not here with you, could you do us a favor and go grab him? Could you turn this off for us? If you can go just leave and grab him really quick and come back. Wow! Yo! That's more spooky. Yo! Oh! Oh, they're both back! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my they're god. both back! That means they're here! She literally just, just did what you said! Literally went and grabbed Park. Holy thank shit. you, Jolene. Thank, thank you so much! Can you- Holy shit! I thought that was like the same time, but this is still- Yeah, that's still on, but that's dimmed. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh, oh my oh, god! Oh, Yo! The what the fuck was that? The, the wind's not even like blowing It's not even a blow wind! Oh my god! It came all the way down here with so much power that it knocked the flashlight and off now, the gazebo. Now you can see it like blowing a little bit, but guys, I, it's not enough to blow a metal flash. Also, off if it was gonna roll off, it would be you know horizontal, not vertical. Jolene Park, thank you so much for answering us already tonight. I'm glad to hear you guys are both together in the afterlife since there's so many rumors down here that that might not be the case, but. <gasps> Oh my god! Dude, what? There is like a full-on moving flare right underneath your feet, Colby. I don't know. Anyway. Park, are there bad spirits in the office room? We heard in your office there was something evil or malicious. Just want to confirm. Oh my god! And Jolene turned hers off too. Park, was what we saw in the window. Since that was right by your office, was that you that we saw in the window? Were you going to the bathroom? Oh! Him. Yo! Holy that would make so much more sense. He's in his office, which is literally located in that south wing where we saw the light. Thank you guys both. We're gonna go talk to you inside with a better method that we can get more answers. Thank you, oh, Jolene. Fuck. Oh, oh my, god. my god, that's so perfect. Wow, that is amazing. If you're liking this video, please go down and actually click like on this video. If you get this to a quarter million likes, we will do another unsolved crime mystery. While you're down below, subscribe as well. It's free. It makes us happy. And it's going to protect Nate from getting eaten by an alligator tonight. Oh, wow. What? Please press the button. Now, Vicky. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is the Psychomantium. It has a mirror up here, a mirror right there, and it's used for scrying, which is basically looking into a clear surface. Like, if you see, like, the... Was that a rip ass? When you see a psychic look into a crystal ball, if you look into any clear reflective surface, you might be able to see something that's not really there, especially with two mirrors pointed to each other. We tried this one time in Zach Bagan's museum, but have never really tried it with two mirrors pointed towards each other, so let's see how that goes. So it puts you into a meditative state. So that meditative state is supposed to allow you to see things beyond just the human eye. It's kind of nerve wracking that it's in a closet and could possibly be right next to the area where Park killed himself. And it's painted all black, so it is going to be absolutely pitch black. We're gonna have one candle next to the mirrors, but everything else is gonna be shot in night vision. To enhance other senses, we are gonna put noise-canceling headphones on each person that's trying to scry. They said they get a lot of energy in this room too. Oh God, is it the doll? Holy shit. So again, guys, I'm not looking at myself in the mirror right in front of me. I'm looking at my reflection of this mirror, if that makes any sense. My face looks like it's all one color. My nose has completely disappeared. My mouth has completely disappeared. But where my eyes are, there's just two dark circles, like right here. Walk around the table. It's still on two. Okay, now it's off. But now it's back up. Way up there is not it. As soon as you get to like eye level, that would be literally like if you were having a fucking meal. My eyes are doing weird, like, creepy shit. It almost looks like they just got a lot larger. But if I just stare, I start to slowly sink into the shadows. Look how steady. Yeah, that's super weird. 
That's like as bright and steady as I've ever seen. Maybe this was his office desk. The only room he'd come back to and spend time in is this one. The eye sockets are just black. All right, Chloe's been in there for five minutes. We're gonna go ahead and get him out. Yo. What's it like? Dude, you look like you're- How was that, dude? You look like you're in another world right yeah, now. Yeah, are you okay? <laughs> Holy fuck. Is it real? Is it like insane? Is it freaky? Dude, it's scary. I'm looking at this reflection, right? The best way I could describe it is it looks like your flesh disappears and you look at your skull. Everything turns blurry like Slenderman's face, except for two giant dark circles. Huh. And they just get bigger and then they contract. The longer I looked at it, the more my face would sink into the shadows behind me. Oh my god. Dude, uh, you were in there for a good five minutes. Let's Holy fuck! Five, five minutes? Five or six it minutes. It was not a minute? Holy shit! The only thing I could give advice-wise is just don't blink. Just look straight into your eyes like you're having a staring contest. That's when you start seeing the fucking hallucinations. Okay. Tell me what you see inside of yourself, Sam. I'll be looking for the dark star. Fuck. Oh my god. Exactly what Colby said. It looks like I am a skeleton. I can tell exactly what it means. What the fuck? Just the table. Do you think there's something like electrical underneath What's the floorboards? Well, there must be a grandma or something. There has to be. If there's anything out there that wants to show itself, I'm looking at a man with like a receding like a hardcore receding hairline, he just barely has any hair on the top of his head. He looks like he's angry. He's like grimacing, but smiling. I know it's my eyes playing tricks on me, but it's so clear. Dude, I'm telling you, it's like almost like a weird state of hypnosis. And you know what's really kind of scary? During this entire video, I've kind of felt like a little bit out of it and like slightly drained and just like under the weather a bit. Yeah. But then after that, I feel like a little bit more perked up. You feel heightened? Yeah. I wonder if it like peaked your adrenaline, dude. It looks like a skull turns into an angry man over and over and over again. Damn. Sorry, guys. We'll keep ghost hunting. Whoa, and when I move like this, everything about my vision is like warping. It legitimately looks like I'm looking at different people from the past. It's like I'm looking at different people, is what he said. Holy fuck. It's crazy, you are right? Hitting. How long do you think you were under there? Two minutes. Close to eight minutes. No fucking way, yeah. actually. Whoa! We went and walked around over there. I saw some weird shit. At first, I was almost like in shock. I saw the exact same skull as you did. But then, I think I saw someone from like a long time ago. He looked like an older man, like in his 50s or 60s. The receding hairline, he barely had any hair at the top. You know, like a widow's peak type of thing. His eyes like were, were dark and black and you could see his eyebrows like raised, like he was really angry mm -hmm. and he was smiling. I swear, that was like the clearest I've ever seen my face morph. Guys, if you don't believe us, if you're not scared enough to do something like this, turn off all the lights and look into a mirror with like dim candlelight, stare at yourself, and I promise you your face is gonna start changing. Yeah, you'll see it. The Bloody Mary challenge, right? Look at yourself in the mirror, but focus like right here, and it'll start to... Yeah, part of me felt like I was literally on drugs because I saw my face like melting. I don't know if I want to do it. Get in there, Nate. Alright, we'll see you in five. Guys, you guys are gonna think we're so fucked up for this. We're gonna scare Nate shitless. Throwback to our Goatman's Bridge video, we used some masks for like B-roll. Best way to scare the shit out of him, you know? <laughs> He's literally in a dark room alone, he can't hear anything. Like the fog. I'm about to ruin my friendship. My eyes have become humongous. They're wells, obsidian wells. The light racing back and forth into nothing between these mirrors. Oh my gosh, it's like I'm wearing someone else's face. <laughs> this is where the subjective meets the objective here. This is terrifying. Do you want to be the sheep or do you want to be the eagle? I feel like the sheep is more my vibe. Oh my gosh, my face is just opening into an abyss. He said my face is opening into an abyss. Damn, what the fuck does that mean? 
Oh my gosh, when the light flickers, my whole face shudders. It's like an echo chamber of terror. Yo. Yo. Yo, what's good? Dude, I know if the camera's there, then some shit's about to be going on, and my adrenaline is high, so I don't need any of this shit right now. Dude, what the fuck? Did you just fall through? Yo, you good? Holy shit, dude. I don't know whether to be terrified or aroused. <sighs> Is that what you're expecting, brother? I almost shot my heart out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh, shit. Not gonna lie, when we first pulled up, I didn't really think much of this place. But this has gotta be like a nine on the scale of active. Compared to like The Conjuring or maybe Zach Bagans Museum, I would put this place probably at it like an eight or a nine, just because the flashlights were perfect and it was the first experience where I legitimately saw something in the window. I have never seen a shadow figure and I legitimately think we just saw one. I've, you know, been to a bunch of these haunted places and have never felt felt like that bone chilling feel. It's like you get when you're a little kid and you're running up the basement stairs. I get that when I have been alone in the Sacramentium room. Being alone and really getting into that made me excited for this last investigation. There's a lot more mystery in this tragedy than I first anticipated. There might be a deeper secret. People that are investigating this all the time still don't know the answer. So I really wanna see if we can get there. I just want to see if we can get something more specific. We're choosing to do the Estes method here, and young Nate volunteered as tribute. Thank you, Nate. Tribute! It always lights up right around spiking, here. yeah. So what are we trying to figure out? Who created that portal, and why is it here? Why did they die? How did they die? And are they still together and friends in the afterlife? This turned off. Oh, is that yellow? And now it's just barely spiking. It's like this is taking the energy now. Should we first establish if there's anybody here with us? Yeah. One. These. Jolene, Park. It's me. Both of you or just one? Actively. Both. Whoa! Oh, oh shit, shit, shit. Okay, that's okay. good, that's good. What is going on, Nate? Oh, yes, Nate is the one you're talking to. We want to respect you and your story. Would you like to talk to us about it? We understand how frustrating it can be for so many people not to know what actually went on in your life, especially when it involves your death. Energy, call one. Jolene, is it true that you died not from just breast cancer? Oh, I'm telling you, I died that in was... pain. Aware. So it maybe wasn't the painkillers. So she was aware. Did someone kill you? Did you die from medicine? They came. Like your doctors? The agents of darkness. I, I shit you not, I'm not making that up. Are you serious? I'm yes. not making that up. Agents of darkness. I, sh I shit you not. Alright, it's making sense, keep going. Has anybody ever done this method with you before? Smile! I saw an old man smile back at me. Then. Hurt someone. Oh shit. Was it a man? What was that? That just gave me chills all over my- My body. relationship. Holy shit! Is that what killed her? Yeah, but it's like how- My life? Her? Are the same people who possibly murdered Park the people that murdered you? Did you get murdered? No. No, okay, that's what I thought. I don't think she got killed by anybody. How did Park die? Let's see if- Heartache. Holy shit! She died of a heartache? No, he, he died, died from heartache. He was so depressed after she died because she died first. So it was a suicide. He died? He died of a heartbreak, but he was with another woman. Odd. Look, think about what is- Scratching? Park. There's footsteps upstairs. I don't Bound. Know. Do you not hear this? Skeptic. Fever. So you're saying that Park was not murdered? Yes. There it is. That's so the answer. Maybe Park love sick. So what about you? If Park was just killed by love sick and he committed suicide, can you give a hint? I was like, what finally killed you? <sighs> we want to clear your name. Jolene was always the one that wasn't like down to talk as much. She doesn't talk about that. She's always avoiding the question of death. Jolene, we don't have to talk about your murder, but do you know how this portal came to be? Never not. Never not? Meaning it was forever here. Hey, Jolene, could you tell us how many people are in this room right now with us? Seven. Multiple people. 
her plus us plus two more. This is out of power. It yeah, was right. mastermind. Completely done. That's insane. That was on the entire time. It's open. So you knew about the portal during your life turn. It's open! This is crazy. How the fuck is this that's, like chill? That's such a telltale sign. It used all the energy here. Do you need more energy? Jolene, do you need more energy to talk to us? Dude, now she's silent. You, how much? Yes. Is... Alright, let's do it before it. Like... Come back. Bro. Oh, dude. Shit. Are you good? Dude, I'm dizzy. That was fucking hard, dude. Actually? Yeah, like I actually nauseous. I think we did figure out a couple things. Jolene confirmed that Park was not murdered. He actually did die of suicide, but it was because of a broken heart. He was lovesick. What if the agents of darkness just meant his deep depression of heartbreak? What if he just wanted to make sure that he couldn't help himself because he was so heartbroken? He didn't want there to be any chance for him to be able to save himself if he started second guessing. He didn't want his human nature to kick in yeah. and try to like stop him from he actually going. He knew that he had to tie his hands up before he did it. Second thing we got, definitely there is a portal and Jolene thinks it was here way before her time. I'm exhausted. I feel like I just got, like I just ran like five miles. It's gonna drain more and more energy. It's already drained four batteries of our camera tonight. I say we do one last SS method in there and we try to figure out once and for all how did Jolene die? Was there some foul play in that and one? And how or why did the portal get created? Jolene, are you still with us? Animal. What? Animal. Is this Jolene? Hey. Jolene, thank you. It's you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's us. We were just wondering if, if we could learn more about your story and the details of your death. Could you tell us? To Jesus. We just want to... Only he knows. Damn. Wow. Wow. Why do you not like talking about your death? It's... Do not blunt something. I don't know. Jolene, was it breast cancer? Business? Business. That sounds... Did it have something to do with Park? Don't ask. That is a yes, it did. Stripped away. What was stripped away from you? Life. <gasps> Yo, wait, so stripped away. Was it cancer or was it someone else or something? You know. You know. She thinks we know about her death. Ignore. Jolene, was there foul play in your death? Private. Can you tell us why you keep it private? Jolene? Are we still speaking to Jolene? Or are we speaking to- Evil lurks. This room. This is the one room that's like evil. Dude, we're still not speaking to Jolene right now. Someone else is being chained right now. Can you tell us a little about the portal? Do you know when it was created? Land. People. Land and the people. Mm -hmm. So was it- Not sure. The people in the land? Jolene, was it the people in the land that killed you? Secret. Jolene, our main question is, do you know where this portal came from? How long has it been here? Time. Yeah, can you give us a time? Do you know how long it's been here, this portal? All. All time. All of time? Forever? Yes! Confirmed. Okay, so the portal's been here forever. Hill. People. Hill. And the people, hill, people, people, and people in the hill. Jolene, what killed you? Stop. Oh, oh she does not like that so you, question. So can you at least tell us why you don't want to talk? Mine. Is it just because it's private or is there some secret to it? Don't. Yes. Yeah, there's a secret. What killed Park? Can you confirm? We heard that it was heartbreak or lovesickness. Is that true? Something like Understand? What did he understand? Love. Us. He understood love. And us. Oh my, dude, that's pretty. That is really pretty. Let's try one last time. Jolene, we're gonna give you your space. We want to respect your privacy, but if you could give us one hint as to what caused your death, or if it was something like foul play, we'll get out of your hair. Can you just confirm that it wasn't just breast cancer? More. There was something more. There was something more than breast cancer. Secret. There is a secret. Yeah, dude, we're just- Some secret. Don't. Baby. 
Holy shit. Yo, I think we figured out every single thing we needed to. Something happened in the middle that I think we we're talking to something else. You said like evil. And I realized that this is the one spot that people say is dangerous. This portal has been here forever. Both you and Nate confirmed that it's never not been there. Not Jolene. We kept pressing and prodding, trying to get a cause of death. She at one point got stern. She said, stop. But we said, okay, we want to respect that. Yes. This will be our last question. Was there more? to this death. More. More. Yeah, more? Yeah, she said more. You said, was there more? She said more. More. Holy shit! If she's like a private person in life, of course she's not just gonna tell three random dudes. Don't get caught up in the horrifying details of my death. Just know that my partner understood love. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm drained. Like yeah, after that, you, like that just like made me. It is crazy Holy the fuck. difference of energy between me and you two. Visually and like, I can just tell from like your demeanor. If you guys think you have any thought onto what happened to Jolene and Park, please comment down below. If you guys want us to go check out another true crime murder mystery paranormal location, get this to 250,000 likes and we'll do it. One thing we do know for sure is that the Black Swan Inn is haunted as fuck. Check out Nate. If you want to see all of our behind the scenes and stupid stuff we do that's not included in the video, exploreclub.com. We'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. Once again, thank you to Monster Legends for sponsoring this video. Make sure you click the link in the description and get your free starter pack.